Hi guys, how are you? So today I would like to do a book review and the book that I'm going to be reviewing is Steel Heart by Brandon Sanderson. A dystopian fantasy novel in which there is something called calamity and basically the sky opens up nobody really sure is the origins of it or why it happened or anything but the sky opened up and it bestowed these supernatural powers on regular ordinary people and these people became epics and so they um are kind of like if we would think of a superhero like how they have superhuman strength they can make themselves invisible they can control fire they can control like you know just anything if you think of yourself think of like what superhero powers are but the thing is that's different is that they're not actually superheroes they're actually really the bad guys or the majority of the epics it seems like all of them just want to take over they want control they want power and the worst epic of them all is Steelheart and um, Steelheart has taken control over the city over Chicago now Chicago is New Chicago <laughs> and he has taken it over and he has become emperor of this city he has other epics under his control Steelheart is just wrecking havoc and making everybody fear for him fear for their lives and um, we have David who is the main character and when he was younger Seal Heart actually kills his father so he has this revenge and he wants to do whatever he can to kill Seal Heart so he actually spends the next 10 years from when he's 8 years old to he's 18 he spends 10 years of his life studying epics studying like every single epic all of their weaknesses he becomes basically an expert on them and he's doing basically whatever he can to destroy the epics and to destroy Steelheart. So what David does is he joins these group of Reckoners, these people who have made it their mission and their job to kill and defeat the epics. And um, so they're kind of like the actual heroes of the story. Um, that's pretty much what this entire story is about. My opinion of this book is that I did like it. I really did enjoy it. I thought it was very imaginative. I could see that Brandon Sanderson spent a lot of time trying to come up with this story, trying to come up with the epics and New Cargo, the whole world and everything. He spent a lot of time working on it and it I can just tell from reading it so it paid off really well because it's very believable like I believe calamity really happened I believe these epics are real and that their different powers are real um, so it's really really good because it's just so convincing there are a lot of like twists and turns and there's a lot of things that you don't expect uh, to happen at all in the story the only thing maybe I didn't like is that when they get into their whole scientific stuff and scientific reasoning and and getting in like explaining people's abilities based off of science like scientific facts I always zone out <laughs> like that's just me so that's what it was a lot of that in here so I did zone out but it's not Brandon Sanderson's fault it's my fault that's just the way like I am you know but if you're into superheroes, if you're into comics, if you're into The Flash, okay, my favorite show, then I think you would like. Now, this is my first Brandon Sanderson book that I've ever actually read and, you know, finished and completed. So I don't know if this is a good place for you to start with him. I'm going to say no, just because, you know, <laughs> just because I'm sure he's written a lot of stuff that's much better and more intricate and stuff like that. So I would say no, but... If you want to read teen uh, fantasy or teen dystopian novels, then I think you should really pick this up. So my rating for this book is 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. And if you guys have read this book, tell me what you thought. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.